In this video, I want to introduce you to the basic template that we're going to use for many of the supplemental CSS tutorial or training videos that fall outside of the core project-based tutorial. And it's a very basic page. We have our headers and some paragraphs, and we get a, you know, a list item here. What I want to point out in this particular video is something that falls a little bit outside of CSS, but it's important because there's a lot of in misinformation out there as far as I'm concerned. And this has to do with the doc type up here. Now, everybody out there in the world of web design, all these nerds, they all say you should use the XHTML doc type, whether it be transitional or strict or whatnot. This is a big mistake. What you really want to use is the strict doc type. Now, I'm showing you this and I'm showing you the options here in Dreamweaver. You don't have to use Dreamweaver, of course. You can use any editor you want. Anyhow, here's the key thing. XHTML is a terrible choice simply because all the supposed benefits of using XHTML, basically the page will render quicker in the browsers are lost with about 70 to 80 percent of the browsers being used out there right now. I'm creating this video in late 2009. Basically IE 6, 7, and 8 and moving forward does not recognize XHTML. Just in case you don't know, XHTML is basically XML that's meant, that's structured rather, to work like HTML. The problem is, is that Microsoft refuses to accept XHTML as a language for HTML. So when IE sees the XHTML doc type, it doesn't know what to do with it. So what it does, it drops down into something called quirks mode, which is basically it's down and dirty way of processing pages. And when it does drop into quirks mode, all those advantages, those supposed advantages of using XHTML are lost. So it's kind of useless. But if you use HTML for strict, then IE and the other browsers will use a, an engine built into it that processes HTML for strict nice and effectively and efficiently. You see, just in case you don't know, the web browsers will have several engines, if you will, that will interpret code in a web page depending on the doc type. So when you declare a doc type at the top of the page here, you're basically telling the browser which engine you want it to use to process the page. The other reason why you don't want to use XHTML is because if you get into JavaScript or DOM scripting using you know, jQuery where you get all those fancy effects or just basic JavaScript where you want to do some DOM scripting. If you don't know what this is, you can go to uh, killerjavascript.com. You can learn all about it there. Again, XHTML gets in the way of DOM scripting. It makes it very difficult for you as a programmer to actually write code that works. So at the end of the day, you really have to drop down to HTML4 this is the optimum choice today and for the foreseeable future. Okay, now that we've seen the basic template page we're going to use to do our examples in CSS, we can move forward with concrete examples.